Jean-Marie Vallier. What happens to foreigners when martial law is declared? Will the country allow them to leave? Different folks, different strokes. When Idi Amin took over Uganda, he wasn't too kind to foreigners. In fact, one of the first things he did when he took power was picking out some particularly strong white farmers and making them carry his rotund self around like slaves. As he did so, Idi Amin was cheered on by followers. Because that's the thing, when you are the dictator of a country, in full control of each and every person in it, you can do whatever the hell you want to anyone. Foreigners or locals, doesn't matter. There was a new emperor in town, and just as the Caesars of yore, he'd have slaves carry him around, his body never touching the floor. Another example further to the east, when the Philippine president Ferdinand Marcos declared martial law, First thing he did was to drag the country's most notorious drug lord a Chinese gentleman from his house and have him strapped to a pole and summarily executed by fire squad in the middle of the street. Why? To give off a signal. And that signal was this is my country. You're a visitor here. I own you. And if you make one wrong move, you're dead. That's raw power. It's not pretty, but then again it's never a pretty thing when a new alpha male drives out the old and takes over the herd. 100.6k views. View 1996 upvotes.